Hi, if you've already watched one of my other core practical videos, I'm really glad you found it useful enough to click play on this one. But you can skip the first minute, so scroll along. If you haven't zoomed forward, welcome to this core practical video. It's part of a series of videos which I'm hoping will help you to focus on each of the Edexcel Physics GCSE core practicals. For double science students, you only need seven out of the eight, so please skip number four, thermal energy. This is only for the triple scientists. Triples, you need all eight. Assessment of practical work is included as part of the final exams. A minimum of 15% of the total marks must be allocated to questions related to these core practicals. So, I hope you find the video useful and I hope it helps you to revise the experiment that you will have done in your lessons. The fourth core practical is only for the single scientists, the triple scientists. It investigates how the nature of the surface affects the amount of thermal energy radiated or absorbed. And Edexcel describe it as a minimum of four different beakers or test tubes must be covered in different materials, different colours or shiny stroke dull surfaces. The same volume of hot water must then be poured into each container and covered with a lid. Using a thermometer, the temperature can be monitored and recorded at fixed times using a stopwatch. I've got six plastic beakers. I don't have any glass beakers and I don't have any test tubes. So I've got six plastic beakers, which are very similar, although not quite identical. I've covered the six beakers in six different coloured materials. I tried to use the same type of material and the same thickness the very best that I could. So most of them are thin paper, but I had to use foil to get shiny silver and a thin card from a sparkly white. I did measure out accurately 50 millilitres of hot water from the same kettle to go into each of the six beakers and I allowed a little time so that the thermometers could definitely be registering this starting temperature and here you'll see another problem the water from the same kettle is registering quite different temperatures from the different thermometers ranging from 63.8 degrees celsius to 74.4 degrees celsius which is a range of 10.6 degrees celsius difference so i'm not convinced that this experiment is the fairest test of them all i started my stopwatch with that first photograph and then every two minutes for a total of 20 minutes i took another photograph so that i could measure the temperature at exactly the same time for all of my six beakers on my own I used digital thermometers because they were accurate to 0 0.1 degrees Celsius and easy to read. But you'll notice that sometimes they switch themselves off. So um, a couple of results did get missed. But I stuck with it through the 20 minutes, taking photographs every two minutes. And then I used those photographs to help me consider the results in the form of a graph. I didn't bother with a table of results, I plotted my results straight onto my graph. The gradient of a graph of time against temperature would show you the rate of cooling for each of the beakers. And by comparing the start and end temperatures, you can calculate the change of temperature over the 20 minutes to see how the different colours compare in emitting radiation. If you're looking closely at my graph, you'll notice they don't exactly back up the theory, these results. Hot objects emit thermal energy to cooler surroundings, getting cooler and cooler as the thermal energy travels away from them. They continue to do this until the temperature reaches an equilibrium. So the water in my beakers should emit thermal energy, or radiate into the room, until the water has reached the same temperature as the room temperature. Shiny objects 
reflect radiation. Black objects absorb radiation, but they also emit radiation really well too. So if you want to warm something up, wrap it in black paper, it can absorb the thermal energy from the hotter surroundings. But if you want to keep something hot, you should wrap it in silver paper so it doesn't radiate energy away to the cooler surroundings. Comparing just the black and the silver beakers, you can see my results don't show this at all. They've both cooled down as energy has been radiated to the surroundings, but not in the way we would predict to have happened. I really want to save myself a drive to school to get equipment to try the experiment again. And so, although I don't want to leave you with confused results, this is my compromise. I'm going to use the textbook. The textbook has a table of results for four different surfaces. And I've plotted these results to show you that shiny surfaces emit the least thermal energy and the dull surfaces emit the most, which is what the theory says should happen. OK, so my experiment didn't kind of work on this one, but we've used the ideas, we've done some revision, and you know that. Regular, Regular review gets a better grade for, for you. you. Don't forget to like so that I can keep making the videos. Comment. Especially to request other revision topics. Subscribe. So you can get notifications of when my next video gets uploaded. <laughs>